A very good evening to you. How are you this evening? Oh my word, we are already busy. We're launching a brand new one day special and take a look at this fabulous, incredibly beautiful sample that's been put together using papers from the collection that's now available and on your screens. With Heartfelt Creations, this is the first time anyone is seeing this in the country because we are launching it right here, right now. It is the country countryside cottage with your four seasons to boot as well and I'm not alone of course I'm not I've got the lovely Nikki with us how are you Nikki I'm really good thank you I love that opening did you like that I like that it's very yes. good well that cottage is beautiful did you make that yourself yes it was a bit of myself and Paul I will admit he did the basics and I did the decorating and everything else that went along with it, it. looks fantastic and what a fabulous idea because it's not about just about card making it isn't it's using no. the papers the stamps and the dies that come in this complete collection at a wonderful price to do all of your crafting projects with 183115 is your item number for your one day special uh, you're saving 40 pounds already but you know what if you're a freedom member you're saving even more that saving goes up to 54 pounds and 29 pence so how about dividing that cost into three payments yes three monthly payments it's interest free so it becomes incredibly affordable now we are getting busy 42 pounds and 87 pence today's your freedom price then another payment of that amount in a month's time and another payment a month after that you don't pay any pmp when you're a freedom member and if you want to become a freedom member to take advantage of that saving you can do right here right now it's just triple eight triple eight your basket it's just five pounds and 97 pence that's for one month which starts today and you will be able to take advantage of that saving now i've got something very special to announce nikki yes we have yes we yes. have we had a facebook giveaway and all you had to do was comment on that facebook post now we have randomly selected a winner and the winner is Lynn Holmes. So if you're watching Lynn, congratulations. You've won the whole complete collection well from Heartfelt Creations. And she is going to love it because yep. there is so many elements in the collection. You've got trees, you've got a post box, you've got flowers, you've got a wheelbarrow. You've even got a snowman. I know it's January. But this has all four seasons in it. Yeah, it certainly does. And we've got that adaptive season, I'll call it, with the trees, because those trees could be winter, it could be autumn, it could be summer. Now, we're going to go through the paper pad in more detail with our Nikki in a moment's time. But, of course, the paper pad is really important in the collection. And it's available on its own. Now, normally, when we have a one-day special with Heartfelt Creations, the paper pad on its own sells out very, very quickly because people go for an extra one. Why wouldn't you? You've got all of those fabulous projects in there, so you'll want to keep on making and keep on creating. So why not add another paper pad, if you choose to, to your one-day special? And if you do, you can divide the cost of that into three payments. Oh, my word. That works out to be £18 divided by three. Not a lot of money in your basket. I know. <laughs> Simple equations can't work out at this time of day. Um, it's six pounds, isn't it? Six pounds in your basket. About five pounds ninety-nine. Give or take a penny. Uh, a marvelous collection. But Nikki, heartfelt creations coming from the states. Um, is. There is a delayed dispatch. Only of eight days, though. So that's not long Only to wait. Only eight days. And as I say, this is the first time you would have seen the full collection. You've probably seen some sneaky peeks out there on social media. But this doesn't launch worldwide until when. Wednesday, is it the Wednesday the 14th? I think I do so, believe. Yeah. yeah, and, and that so. includes the the states as well it does all over wow we're so proud to have heartfelt creations here and this is a fantastic collection I love that countryside cottage isn't it pretty isn't it idyllic it's a cottage that you can put in any scene create a summer scene with it you can create autumn winter um, any time of the year yeah. and any occasion and that's another reason why I love this collection. Do you know what? I would love to live in a cottage like that. It's absolutely remarkable. And with that cottage, of course, you've got the papers that you can use because that image is within the papers. But you can also paint and colour and decorate it all kinds of different colours which means you can make a little village if you want you to. You could make mm. a village with it. You've got so many elements in there. I do believe, is there 31 dies? 
in 31 there. 31 dies and in that collection 20. and 26 stamps. Wow. This is a huge collection. And when you use your paper pad with those scenes that um, Heartfelt have given us, you can then start building on it, using those stamps, using those dies. Create something autumnal like this one here. Isn't that gorgeous? It's beautiful, isn't it? And Absolutely also, beautiful. look at your winter samples here. Isn't that lovely? So, yes, every season. What a great start to the new year. Yeah, it's we've, covered every, we've covered everything. We've covered every season. And the great thing is, with your dies, you can cut out the images on the paper pad. Remember, we'll go through that in a moment's time with you. But you can also stamp and then cut out as well. So there's no need for all of that fussy cutting. It's already sorted for you. Everything comes in a fabulous display bag as well. So if you are giving this a gift or keeping it as a collectible, wow. Uh, now, 10% of the stock has already gone of your one day special. It's available on Flexibuy. Those are your details. If you want to make the one payment, then you can do. That's entirely up to you. Now, if the, if the one day special may be a little bit too rich for your blood at the moment, maybe your budget isn't at that particular price at the moment, we have got an essentials collection. It includes the paper pad, so you get your 24 pages, 12 by 12, double sided, so many elements in there. And you also get included in that the country cottage stamp and die. So those are your essentials, which I think is an excellent deal. And it's divisible into two payments of £23.40. 49 pence. 416 633 is your item number. All of the stamps are cling mounted or they're made of red rubber and they're cling mounted as well. Red rubber, of course, is uh, fabulous because you can use this with all your different heat mediums, yes, can't you? you? Yes, you can. E deeply etched as well, so you get a really nice, crisp stamped image every single time. You certainly will. Shall we have a look through that paper pad? Shall we? Let's do it. Right, so this is this core I always say to any collection. This one, I think, Heartfelt have really gone beyond giving us a beautiful paper pad because they have given us all four seasons. We've got our winterscapes, then we've got our autumn, we've got our spring, we've got our summer there. Any occasion within this paper pad. But what I love about it is it is double-sided. So if I just turn this one around, in actual fact, I'll just take that off. Just look at that absolutely gorgeous scene that we've got there. You've got your cottage, you've got your um, mailbox there, you've got your little birds, but then you can build upon that. You can make it into a scrapbook layout if you wanted. The colours are absolutely stunning in here as well. So you've got your deep oranges and your lemons and your um, yellows for your autumn. But then you've got your red and your blues. And this is something different. Heartfelt have given us snowmen before. They've given us holly. But this is kind of just like a cute winter scene that they've given us. We've also got the swan in here as well. Now, what I thought was when I first looked through this collection was, oh, my goodness, I have got so many other collections that I want to be able to use with this collection. And you can mix and match, can't you? Mix and match with what you've already got. Maybe you've got some of the sunflowers from other collections, but these are different. These you're going to build on. Maybe you've got a Christmas collection. Maybe you brought one from last year. This is going to work beautifully alongside that. And then using your cottage as well, you're going to be able to create absolutely amazing um, kind of scenes. Like Janice just said, think about oh, making wow. um, some village scenes with them. I mean, look just at look that. at the colours on there. Absolutely stunning. Then, of course, you've got that winter one. Now, you can cut that up and get four cards out of that, but you could, if you want, make a nice large Christmas card with it or a birthday card. It could just be a winter birthday. But then, of course, what Heartfelt give us is those images that we can die cut out. So if you're stuck for time, you want to make a nice quick card, but you haven't got time to stamp and colour, you have those images there. But you don't just have one page, you get two of each. So you're getting lots of images in there to be able to die cut out. You've got your little birds in there as well. You've got your pots of flowers. You've got your florals in there. You've got your leaves as well. And throughout the shows, I'll be able to show you how you can build your trees to create different scenes and different seasons with them. You've got more. I mean, we've gone now into the autumn and the winter scenes here as well. You've got your berries there, but you've got your sunflowers as well. Got that cute wheelbarrow. 
and your pumpkins. And you've got the red cardinals in and there as the well, which is the equivalent in the USA to our robin here they in the They are, UK. but aren't they beautiful? Yeah, Absolutely they stunning birds. But of course you have got on the other side, you have got your sort of like your pattern papers as well that you can build up your cards with. So when I look at the paper pad, I always, people say, mm, okay, I like to build on my paper. I don't really like building using paper pads. But look, you can ink on these, you can stamp on them, you can heat emboss on these, you can cut layers out, you can create um, shadow cards with them. But then you could just make beautiful cards with just the papers on their own. And they're instant card uh, toppers, aren't they? They are instant absolutely instant. Already there for I mean, you. if you was just to use your paper pad and maybe some sentiment stamps, if you just look at this one page, you've got six cards there. Oh, sorry, five cards yeah. already. It's but what they've given us is the ribbon down, strips down the side there that you can stamp some sentiments on. It's incredible. It I really always is. say it's a paper kit rather than a paper collection. I like it. And that's why lots of you are going for that paper pad or paper kit by itself, £17.99. Um, it is double-sided, so if you're using one side, you might like to use the other side, in which case you can put another of the paper pads into your one-day special. Or if you're going for the Essentials collection, which is a paper pad and the cottage um, die, uh, stamp, then you can add another um paper pad to that if you want to but it gives you the opportunity to do those instant cards and when you have a look at the country cottage you can see it's almost like a 3d effect i picked this one up and i thought oh wow that's a 3d cottage but it's not that is from the paper pad or from the stamp just simply stamped out but because you've got elements of decoupage on just placing on the front can you see there how that's been brought out and in fact when I turn that to the side it does look 3D doesn't it it's incredible so that is your central image and then you've got all of those other wonderful stamps and dies to build up those scenes whether it be summer spring autumn or winter 10%, over 10% of the stock has gone now of your one day special and we're only 12 minutes into the first live hour. I love the trees, I love the fact that you've got the stamps and the trees, you can change the trees for all the different seasons, whether it be winter where you've got no leaves on there, whether it's the spring where you've got the green leaves on there, uh, the summer and the autumn with the lovely red and autumnal orange colours as well, changing those trees with every season that you can put up beside your cottage if you want to, or maybe some of the garden elements that you've got in this particular collection. Uh, the post box, fantastic, isn't it? And then you've got the pots as well. And you can do what Nikki and Paul have done and build that cottage and put all of those elements around that cottage. So you've got something that really is 3D. You will, of course, need to get your, your own paper to build that cottage. But if you do, you can take the inspiration from the paper pads and from the printouts and the stamps that we've got. It's an absolute delight delightful collection it really really is and it gives you a chance to divide the cost over three payments which is a wonderful way to buy from us here at Hochander remember freedom members no PMP and you get the extra discount as well we are approaching 20% of the stock gone now and lots of people are adding an extra paper pad to their collection as well. If you just want to go for the paper pad, you're more than welcome to do so. You choose, you decide what it is you go for, but do not miss out on what you want. Right, let's have a look at the website. We've got lots of accessories for you. The flower shaping kit. You may have seen Nikki use this before. Um, it's absolutely fantastic. It's going to give you the ability to shape and mold your flowers. There are 10 tips to that tool that you can use and they're all interchangeable. So you've got your pierce, so you've got your one mil, your two 2 mil, 3 mil, 4 mil, 5 mil, 6 mil, 8 mil, 12 mil and you've got your curler as well as the pad in there that you can use. Now that's 29.99 and that's available also on Flexibuy because we're in the midst of the Flex Travaganza event. In fact anything over five pounds you can divide into two payments. Now you might need some foam paper to go with that we've got a great price for you saving three pounds 11.99 or five pounds six pounds in your basket today and then six pounds in a month's time six seven five four two four now something we've seen Nikki use time and time and time again which are absolutely fantastic you get your precision um, coloring done with these you can build your background with these these are your fingertip daubers you get two packs there are 12 in total and they're stackable as well 13.99 or divide the cost into two zero six nine one five four 
Now we've got a storage binder that looks brilliant on your crafting shelves, it really, really does. Uh, beautifully designed, but very, very handy and useful as well. £12.99. Lots of people buy these to go with their collection, so they keep their collections all in one binder. 374418. In fact, if you've got lots of those folders with lots of collections of Heartfelt, take a picture of them, send them in, we'd love to see them. It's studio at hochanda.com. Uh, right, we have some inserts for those folders, and these are your magnetic storage panels, 12 934723 is your item number if you want to go for those. Now finally, we have got your cling storage panels for your stamps. 15 in total, I think that will be all right for all of these stamps we've got in the collection. 999 your item number. And again, because that's over five pounds, if that's what you're going for, you can divide the cost of that into two payments as well. It makes it affordable. It makes it the right time to start stocking up and restocking with your crafty stash. Right then, Nikki, what we're we looking at first? Right, so we're going to start off with a card using the uh, the cottage now I've already started coloring mine so I've stamped my image first and this is basically what that image looked like before I started coloring it obviously but then you've got your die that coordinates with that cottage saves any fussy cutting and a lot of time but what you also get with the cottage die and stamp set so you would get this so if you're just going for that smaller bundle the essentials you would get this stamp and die in there with your paper pad as you can see that will die cut out your windows there you've also got another die that will cut out the chimney and that's where all that three-dimensional love that. Um, will will come from but there's a few different ways that you can actually do that three dimension work on there but first of all what I'll do is I want to show you how easy it is to color these images so I'm going in with a dark brown as you can see I've already started I'm just using some pink frog watercolored cardstock well I think actually it's just their basic cardstock but it works really well your nails are amazing oh thank you I they've done really well actually that? they've stayed on since Christmas so. wow so two weeks but thank you you're welcome. So just colouring in the brick on my chimney there. Just doesn't even matter if you go out on the lines on this. This is a cottage, yeah. so it's I want it to look kind of rustic and um, sort of like it's um, not derelict, but you know, a, a cottage that's um, sitting out there in in the countryside somewhere. And then I'm blending with a very very light brown now. Yeah. And that will blend in the, oh, what do you call it? The bits in between the bricks. Um, the, mortar. the mortar. Yeah, the mortar. That's it. And then I'm going to go in and I decided with this one to go for kind of like a spring look on this one. Okay. So my windows are going in and that is the wrong colour. Do you know, I like it the was colour supposed the, to be blue. I like the colour grey. of the windows that you've got because it looks like there's light behind them. It doesn't, again, that's really easy Warm to do. Warm and inviting. Where would you like the cottage to be? Ooh. Where would we like it to be? Molly would like it to be in Cornwall. Molly's our Cornwall producer Cornwall sounds tonight. good. Uh, Marcus, where would you like your cottage to be? Anywhere by the coast. Oh, uh, my floor manager would like it to be in Cornwall. Um, what, in an enema. <laughs> oh, unanimous, sorry. <laughs> Nikki, where would you like Where would I like my to cottage to be? Um, basically, anywhere in the middle of nowhere with lots of farmland around. Oh, yeah. And nice. somewhere, I think, to walk the dog. Yes. I'm quite easy, to be honest. I would like mine at the base of a mountain so I can go out hiking. So you can go hiking? Yeah. Lots lots of land around me as well so I can have some donkeys and, and goats and ducks. Oh definitely you've got to have goats yeah. and ducks and so now I'm using the position daubers. So what I've done is to make my cottage a little bit crisp I've just gone around the edge with my dark brown over where I've inked it. Is it going to have a straw roof? Thatched roof. Yes, kind of a thatched roof look. And then I'm just adding a little bit more dark 
around the edge but it just crisps the actual image up when you yeah. do that then I'm going in with my dauber and this is what I love about daubers it's easy and it's quick and it does give it a really nice kind of um, like an airbrushed finish yeah. it's great these are great for adding shading so think about using them alongside the pens that you use as well okay and then i'm just going to blend that i'd love to have a thatch cottage but they're very expensive to upkeep you know yes the thatch i would imagine mm. is very we looked into buying expensive. a thatch cottage cottage house but then we were put off because we were told in five years' time we'd have to replace the whole roof. Oh, it was just going to be £20,000. Oh, my goodness. No. So we were like, oh, no, thank you. So just blending that in. So I'm picking up two or three different shades of the browns that I've got here. If you notice, I'm just taking my dauber and just adding that colour and then going a little bit darker in there. Do you keep a dauber per colour? per colour palette right so um sort of like this one's got my creams and my dark brown but then i do have another one with um a much much darker rich reddy brown on as well so if it's very very dark then i would have a separate one but the nice thing about it is if you want you can take the colour off like that and then go back in and pick a different colour up so how many, is it um, 12 that you get? You get in. 12. Um, I'm just thinking size-wise because they are finger daubers. I mean, we've all got different size fingers. Um, size-wise, are they, are, they, are, they, are they a... What I'm trying to say, are they a good size or do you need nimble, tiny fingers to no. use them? No, Paul uses them. So you can, you can get a big finger in there if you want to. So, but what he finds is, because I always use them like this and I put my finger in, but what he tends to do is he holds them like this. So when you get them home, have a practice on how you're going to hold them. And if you want, you can add more than one to lift that up. And then just use it in exactly the same way. It depends on how you want to hold him. <laughs> Are you all right, Janet? I'm fine. I'm fine. I'll, I'll continue just, I'll colouring. Get through that description yourself. Yes. Um, that was perfect. So, so, yes, any size fingers. Okay. <laughs> Did that answer your question? It more, more than answered my question. Thank you very much. <laughs> it was a lovely insight. So, now that I've added that and I've done my um, I want to add a little bit of yellow in there to give it a little bit like a straw look because I want to go, as I say, for a spring look. So I'm now going to go in with a different colour dauber and I'm going in with a yellow. Just a light touch just to make sure that I'm not going to put too much down. I am just going to take some off on a scrap piece of card okay. and just go in there and just a hint of yellow. That's lovely. On that. And as you can see, it is really, really easy to colour. The only bit that I haven't done is the step, so I'm going to go in and colour that in a stone colour. It, it, even there on the glass mat, it looks 3D. It's been very, very cleverly coloured. I'm um, sorry, drawn, isn't yeah. it? Not, not coloured, I coloured it. <laughs> it has been very cleverly coloured, actually, because when you colour it, it does bring out the 3D-ness. Okay. But I've just followed the lines that the artist has actually given me. Yeah. And it is really, really easy and fun as well. Yes. And I always say with Heartfelt, when they bring out collections like this, it's great because I now can go ahead and create what I call a scene. So yes. it's a card, yeah. but it's a pretty scene as well. And it's nice because with the cottage as well, you can colour the roof differently. It could be a winter cottage you could with go a white roof. It could yeah. have straw on there or uh -huh. grass on there. And like you say, it's the building of the scene and the making of the house that really gives you satisfaction because you've designed that house for how you want it to look. And if you want to make a little village of them, you can make them look different each and every time. You could, in actual fact, what I was thinking when we when I got this, you could die cut out the um, the windows yeah. and put make a box 
on there and then put a tea light in. Yeah, that'd be lovely. And create especially a three-dimensional one. Especially at Christmas time. Like that, look. You know, to put in the window? With yes. The tea lights, wouldn't that, that look lovely? That would look pretty. Yeah, very pretty. Very, very pretty. So the elements that I've got for this one is I've got some leaves. I've got some grasses. So you've, I think there's three, if not four, different types of leaves in, in the full collection. You've got your topiary trees. Yep. You've got your pots. So you can colour them any colour you like, depending on the season. Then you've got your little blossoms there as well. Then you've got your tree. Okay. So with the tree, I'm going to go back in with my dauber just very quickly if I can find the brown that I was using I think that that'll do so I'm going in and you can see this time I'm going round in a circular motion and I think this had a little bit of orange on to be honest on this dauber but it works really well okay so what's what see what season are you going for I think kind of like late spring okay don't know why late spring. I'm just thinking sort of like just coming into summer. What's your favourite season? To be perfectly honest, I really don't have one. I love all seasons. The very, I love autumn. I love the colours. I love the oranges and the deep rust um, colours that you see on the trees. But then I love um, spring when everything's just becoming out in blossom. And I love winter as well. Yeah. So I think every season has um, something that I really love about it. And then just blending that down. So I've inked this tree in black so that I can do it in a grey kind of colour if I wanted, or my browns. And in the stamp set, you get the four different leaves, um, which are from four different trees, actually. Let me just pick this up and have a look, see if it mentions which leaves they are. I think we've got... Hmm. I wouldn't like to say... I think we've got, like, a cherry blossom in there. Probably a, a boxwood. We might have a cedar. And then maybe that could be... Like a fern tree, could be a fern tree. Maybe, that, that's my take on it. Your take might be different, but I do believe you've got, uh, as it suggests in the colour on the, the front, a leaf for all seasons. I say that's the spring, that would be autumn. Winter would be that, of course. And then you could have those for the spring or the summer. And that's you, you've got your blossoms in there as well, yeah. so you can add your flowers. But again, depending on what colour you colour them, you could do them in pinks and purples mm. as spring, summer, but then you could do them in yellows and oranges. So you could really as build an autumn up that tree. Scene. Yeah. yeah. You know how sometimes you've built up your um, rhododendrons? Mm -hmm. When we've yes. had papers with rhododendrons on, yeah. you put lots on there uh -huh. to build it up out of the paper. I think doing that with the trees would look fantastic. It's brilliant, isn't yeah. it? Because, as I say, when you bring it together with your paper pad, if I just bring that here, all I've taken is one of the panels from the paper pad. And I'm going to glue that on. I've already added some glitter around the edge, and that is just going on some craft card. And then, as I say, I've added a glitter edge. And that's just one of the panels. Really bright and cheerful. You've got your swan in here as well. Think about the collection that we brought out, was it about a year ago, maybe just under a year ago, we had the calla lily collection that had swans in there. Oh, I remember, yes. And we had the lake in there as well. So you've got so many um, other collections that you can actually use this with. Do you know how many collections have come from Heartfelt so far? Oh, there's a question. If anyone there's knows a that question, answer, please email in um, studio at hochanda.com or how many collections do you have at home? Studio at hochanda.com. Well, they bring one out every single month. So that's 12 in a year. And then we sometimes bring out middle of the month ones. Yes. 
and they've been going since 1994 but haven't really have been doing monthly releases i'm gonna guess they've probably got about 120. really I don't oh know. let's i wonder if there's I, any I, way we I can just find as a out. guess <laughs> maybe not quite that many but <laughs> you, you, you might be right we'll see we'll see if, if if that's the amount now i know it's a shame because this is a beautiful scene in its own right and you could put a sentiment on there and you've got a beautiful card but i am going to now build up my scene so well, you know what it looks like that cottage is in the background like there's a few cottages on a little estate it does doesn't yeah. it oops but i probably am going to cover that up but i will try not to so i'm going to put my tree behind there and i'm going to do it so that it only sticks down in certain places so it kind of lifts up i want to give it a 3d effect okay now this is where i like to use my glue gun as well because it's kind of like a bit of an instant 3d effect now i've actually forgotten my flower shaping tool to kit today have you i've got my my tool but i forgot my mat oh so is it that you so, need do you need a mat I do. Then, then, then we we might have a spare one. I think we, we have. If, uh, I think we might be able Thank to. Thank you. Whilst we have a look at for that for you, uh, let's just have a look at the one day special. I just want to show you a couple of samples. We were talking about the tree and how you can build it up. Well, here's the tree in autumn. Remember that tree is, uh, oh sorry, remember the tree doesn't have any leaves on it when you cut it out. So then you use the leaves to build that scene up. Now there it is in the autumn. You can see that with the pumpkins and there it is in the springtime so you're going to have a lot of fun with that building those leaves up building those designs and setting the scenes to your cottage or maybe just using some of the leaves to work a frame going around the outside aren't these absolutely fantastic you've got all the seasons so you do have the summer the autumn the spring you've also got the winter in there as well and we are in the midst of winter so you can still continue to use these i think all the way through until march but it does mean that next christmas and let's face it crafting starts in july for christmas starts in july for crafters um you can start to make your cards and your beautiful scenes then i mean that is absolutely gorgeous as a large card or you could set it as a scene maybe put some um, lights in the back of it i must say the actual image of the cottage is almost uh, thomas kincaid-esque um, and is. that is very very popular yeah. uh, uh, the scene it just it's just so lovely to have uh, to be able to build up the different scenes. Now, I'm being told that 20% of the stock of the one-day special has gone already. Your payments of three, yes, we can divide the cost of 142.89 into three payments. Uh, Freedom members, you get a greater discount. It's just £42.87 for a Freedom member today including your PMP, and then you've got another uh, payment a month after that and another payment a month after that, so you're splitting the cost, which is great. Lots of people are going for an extra paper pad as well. You do get one included in your one-day special. You can see there's so many different elements in your paper pad, and they are double-sided papers as well. The paper pad on its own, bottom of your screen, £17.99. There are so many elements in here. You can see that page there divided into four, which means you've got four backgrounds, I'll turn this over uh, because they are double sided. There you go. So you've got the fullness of that page to start cutting into it. Lovely design there that you can see. Uh, you've got lovely almost sunflowers in there. Take that away. Again, you've got more scenes for you here with that cottage. Instant card toppers, turn it around. You've got that lovely yellow background, almost a sunrise or sunset more elements for you as well and you can see down the bottom you've got those um ribbons that you can cut out and use or those tags turn that around again then you've got lots of elements here taking you into the autumn and into the winter so you've got those cardinals there and you've got the snowmen as well so it's a lovely design here beautiful the fact that you can use the dies as well to cut some of these images out is fantastic and you can also fussy cut them out as well if you want to go for an extra paper pad you can do you're more than welcome to do so and if you do with your one day special then you can divide the cost of that paper pad into three so it's only going to be an extra six pounds on your one day special if you go for that today we also have the essentials collection for you that's at the bottom of the screen where you get the paper pad 
and you get the cottage die and stamp and all of the extras that go with that and if you take that on th can we take that one off no so you can take that onto two uh, flexible payments if you're going for the essential. So it's entirely up to you how you buy um, and it's up to you what you get. It just depends on how your budget lies. Right, your one day special, very busy for that. And the essentials were busy for that as well. So it seems it's even across the board. We have some essentials for you. Let's have a look at those. If you need somewhere to store your dies or your stamps we've got that storage for you that storage binder nice little ribbon on the top love that so you can carry that from one place to another you've got the magnetic clasp on there as well let's turn that this way there you go so that is magnetic so that will always stay you can write on there on the spine exactly what you've got in there or you could write on the other side if you wish but you do have the heartfelt logo and those beautiful flowers so that's going to look fantastic on your shelf isn't it or you might want to choose to store it that way so you can see what's in there so that's your storage binder love that love the design on the back as well it's really pretty uh, now in your storage binder how do we get some of the storage? Or do we? No, we don't. So what you need to go in there, if you've not got them already, are the panels. We've got them right here for you. These are your cling stamp panels. You get 15 panels in total. They come in packs of five for you. £9.99. Oh, 021-997 is your item number. You've also got some stamp and die magnetic storage for you as well. You get six of these uh, and they'll all fit inside your uh, storage folder. £12.99. Everything that I'm talking about on the show today, you can divide into two payments. It's all part of the Flex Extravaganza event. Then the flower shaping tool that Nikki is going to be using in a moment's time. Um, these have 10 interchangeable tips for you. They also have uh, your pad in there that you can work with. Um, it's in that lovely magnetic clasp box, but your tool, you can see here, you can change the nibs because you take that out and then you just place that in the top. Uh, the mat is missing from this because our lovely Nikki is going to be using that in the demonstration. So you'll be able to see that when she does uh, that. There's also the mini mat in there as well. So you do get another mat included, but that, and that's the mat just there. Uh, 29 pounds and 99 pence, 939385. We've also got the foam paper as well. It's beautiful to use. You get 20 sheets of this and it's a great price for you as well saving three pounds only 11.99 or six pounds today if you're going for this you might want to multi-buy with that flex extravaganza uh, 675424 is your item number uh, saving three pounds everything is on extended delivery dispatching on 13th unlucky for some but not for you guys back to nikki right so i now have my flower shaping mat so i've added some dimension to my leaves and I've coloured them in various different greens. Then I've done my blossoms. So when I add my dimension, what I tend to do is do some with the image facing up. And then I'll turn that over and then just add a little bit more dimension. But it means that when I turn it around, you've got that lovely dimension oh, on there. Lovely. Okay, but what I want to do also is I've got my plant pot and I'm going to put two plant pots. So this one is a double. I've already put some foam pads on this one. So I can just add a little bit of dimension still. It just kind of brings it to life, I think. So with this one, what I want to do is add dimension around the pot. Now, Nikki, would you spritz them with water ever to make the paper a bit more Okay, malleable? so you can do, but because I've used my watercoloured pens, yes. I don't want them to run. Great. So you can. I tend to, especially when it comes to my flower shaping, but when I'm doing something like this, I tend not to use the water on them. And that's just, again, lifted that up. So then I'm going to come back and I'm going to take my leaves and you can cut them up. Let's find my scissors. So I'm just going to trim this one. 
and then that means that I can layer it up a bit okay. more. Sorry, I've just dropped my glue gun. Um, so I like to use my glue gun for this because that means it's going to lift off of the page slightly. So I put a nice dollop on there. And just bring that up. I'll keep that one whole and that one can go there. So it's kind of like spring, so it's going to be full of leaves. It doesn't that bring that to life? And Already, doesn't it? Yeah, and it's... you can bring it over, you can just keep it just over there if you want to. With, whoops, with this one, I'm just going to trim that one there. So that one will just come down there. I'll well, tell I'll you, just the house insurance dollop. on that will go up unless the tree's five metres away, apparently. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> oh, and yes. I know about that because yes. I've had one come down on the house last no. year. did you really? Yeah, a massive tree oh came. I'd got a balcony. It was about January, February last year, and I was on the phone to my friend, and I just suddenly heard this massive noise and everything. And it sounded like somebody had hit the house with a vehicle. Oh, my goodness. And then, so I said, it's come up from upstairs. So I went upstairs and I had a massive tree on my balcony. Oh, wow. So, yes, be, be aware. And then I'm just adding my blossoms. Again, I've cut those blossoms up slightly. And I'm lift. can you see how I'm lifting them up? Yes. So you're getting that dimension on there. I think that looks fabulous. There. How would you send this in the post? Mickey? Right, so I would make a little box. Would you? A box envelope protect to it. protect the decoupage that I'm putting on it. And they really are easy to make. Um, just using your scoreboard. More flowers now, there. Now, Lena has emailed in. She says she's going to treat herself. Is it to an early birthday present? Oh, Lena, Very thank nice. you for emailing in. And happy birthday for whenever your birthday is. Um, she says it's going to be a good distraction for her from what's going on at the moment. Totally agree. Yes. More crafted is what I say. Yeah. And then Get just crafting bring it and up carry there. on. And then I'm going to add a few pots around the bottom here. So with this one, which I've added dimension to, just want to add a piece of tape to again lift that off the page like that. Don't want to hide too much of my cottage. I've run out of glue so I'm going to go I like ahead. the perspective that you're giving it there with the pots in the foreground. With the pots, yeah. yeah. As I say, you've got everything in the collection. A little grass to go now, is that Along grass that you've it. cut out, or do we have a die? We have a out? die and a stamp that work together with these. So you will get these in your collection. We've and that's even from the, got... That's the, the Cottage Summer Skates. If you're going for the complete collection, those are your dies to cut out the grasses and the mailbox and the paving and things like that. Got your little topiary tree there. And to be honest, you could just keep going. I've got another pot here. Look, let's put that pot just there. I think with a collection like this, Nikki, with the 12 by 12 papers you're getting and the scenes that are already there for you, that's going to inspire you, but also allow you to add more elements so you can really bring it out. And then maybe, maybe, do you know what I'd do? I'd puncture a few little holes in there and I'd make a box to put that on top of and then I'd Definitely. put those little LED lights in De there. That would look beautiful, And just have it? the, the, the um, cottage windows just glowing. Almost, again, like a Thomas Kincaid picture, isn't it? It's absolutely fantastic. Or it could be, it could be like a Constable um, picture, but it's beautiful, it really is. Great, great use of colours uh, with Heartfelt. Always great use with colours. And I'm just building this up again, because I've got some little bushes, look. They have all of, honestly thought of everything, everything that you would want and need to create your gorgeous country scene that is lovely got my little bird so should we put some birds in yeah, the tree yeah put some birds Let's in the put tree some birds so we'll go for little blue birds or on the pot depends how big they are perspectively you could put one on the on the pot because it's quite near us isn't it we could so shall we put one on the pot let's just 
colour the belly in. So which pot? This one here? Yeah. There oh. we go. And I say, just think about all the other collections that you've got. All those floral collections that will work absolutely beautifully with this one. Where's the other bluebird going? No, I'm going to put him in the tree yeah. or her in the tree. Just Maybe they're singing there. to each other. And oh, there you have lovely. a really, if I just stand that up, you can actually see the dimension. And if we do have five minutes at the end, I will show you how you can decoupage those windows up. Oh, perfect. Excellent. Oh, thank you, Nikki. Now we are approaching quarter of the stock gone of the one day special. This is the first hour. A one day special is launched here at Hochanda, six o'clock every night. And it's at a discounted price for 24 hours. You're saving £40 on this complete collection. It includes the famous pads that you get with all of the collections we have here for you uh, with the paper pad you've got lots of elements in there and you can also go for an extra paper pad if you want to which seems to be the going rate at the moment um, lots of you love to use the pads and lots of you like to just keep the pads as a collectible item and that's why lots of you are adding another one to your basket but in that complete collection let's take you through the stamps and the dies the stamps and the dies work together you can use the stamps and not the dies but you need the dies with the stamps to cut them out. So let's start off with your countryside cottage. That's the one that Nikki's been using and that's going to give you that perfect country cottage each and every time when you stamp it and then cut it out. And of course, you can decoupage that up and it's going to bring it from the page, isn't it? Um, and you can make your cottage summer, you can make it winter, you could make it autumn if you want to, depending on the decorations, depending on the parts of the paper pad that you're using. You can embellish it to your heart's content or you can have it quite simplistically as the cottage itself. Here's another sample to show you of that. So many, many different looks to your cottage. The next one along, remember we're talking about the seasons here. So let's have a look at the summer. Now with your summer scapes, you've got the mailbox. It's open, so ready for the mailman to come on and place those letters in there. What's that letter gonna be? It could be a nice surprise letter. Uh, maybe it's someone's birthday or maybe it's a couple of bills coming your way. It doesn't matter. You've got that mailbox there. You've also got your plant pots perspective plant pots as well and by that I mean you get the larger ones and the smaller ones so you could build up a little perspective going on around your cottage you've got little bluebirds in there as well and you've also got your grasses and your earthy spots which is lovely in fact is that a bird's nest I think it's a bird's nest that you've got on there as well uh, so that's your summer scapes and you've got the die and the stamps to go with these we're just seeing the dies at the moment but you've also got the stamps to go with these as well here's your autumn so it's harvest time we've got the sunflowers ready we We've also got your pumpkins ready to pick and we've got the wheelbarrow to go and do all of that with or maybe to top up the allotment with some manure. Uh, that's your countryside autumn scapes. Those are the dies, but you also get the stamps as well. We're just showing you the images for both of them at the moment. Your countryside winter scapes, those are the dies. You've got your snowman, your cardinals, you've got your snow clumps and you've got your mistletoe in there and your presents. Remember, you're getting the the stamps with these as well. The stamps are red rubber stamps and they're all cling mounted as well, substantial stamps. Uh, your cottage tree scapes uh, is coming up next. This is a great way of putting together a tree, whether it be summer, winter, winter, autumn, if I miss one out, summer, spring, winter or autumn. Um, and again, great size stamps. So you're getting the dies and the stamps. Stamps are all red rubber. Uh, so they're going to last a lifetime. Great for your heat techniques as well, stamping into your embossing powders, but really good sizes. Uh, let me just show you the winter one with the snowman. So again, really good size, lots of detail in there. Um, those are lovely autumn ones as well, your sunflower. Just using that as a background, for example, is going to be fantastic. Your country cottage, good size on that as well. And then the mailbox as well. Um, if you're cutting out from your paper pad and using that to embellish your cards, 
they're going to look absolutely fantastic. So sometimes you don't need to use the stamps. You can use the papers that are coming with the pads and you can really start to build your scenes up. Isn't that absolutely spectacular? Um, a quarter of the stock has gone now. A quarter of the stock has gone. Um, as we said, using the paper pad with some of the elements from your stamping will build and create those marvellous scenes. Maybe use your paper pad first of all and build the scene. And then you've got your stamps to recreate that so you can batch make and make many, many more as well. Absolutely delightful. Bring a smile to your face and divide the cost into three monthly payments. Freedom members, you get that extra discount as well. The initial saving of £40 if you're not a Freedom member. If you are a Freedom member, £54.29 is your saving. And you could become a Freedom member today, whether you're in Europe, the States or here in the UK to take advantage of that discounted price. We're launching this collection here today at Hochanda. It's not even available in the US say where heartfelt are based not until 10 days time anyway 10 Around days about that. is it yeah. 10 days 10 days mm -hmm. time uh, right back to nikki what have you got to show us now right nikki, we've so got about six minutes left of the show if you want to decoupage your windows up then obviously you are going to need to stamp two of the images color one first and then on the second one all you need to do is color the windows and the door and the dies will fit perfectly over those windows. So I'm just going to pop that through the die cutting machine. You have also got the die that will cut out your chimney. So you can decoupage your chimney up as well. So these, this one here is a die that comes all in one and that will die cut those ones and then you've got a separate one that will cut out that little window at the top and then that one that will cut out the one at the side but if you wanted you could do it another way so what I would do on this one is if you're going to decoupage it up you just might need to go round the edge a little bit so let me just find that blue pen and it's disappeared. Can we see the blue pen anywhere? The blue pen. Rum, 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 rum. It's no. Just, no. Mm. Okay, there's the answer to that. But, but it's easy because I've got my dauber. Perfect. And I've got some blue ink. And the daubers are available on the show. Uh, you get a set of 12. Uh, a great price. Uh, we'll pop the details at the bottom of the screen. Uh, for your daubers, they're, they're finger daubers. I've just placed them back, sorry. So that's the, they're not on my fingers. Um, but they're finger daubers and uh, Nikki is using them now. Great addition so to your it, So you staff. just need to sort of go round the edge because you're going to decoupage them up. So if I just do one of those windows, like that. Got that nice double window. And it really does even add more dimension to your cottage because then you've got the door so I'd do exactly the same just go around the edge of where that dies just cut that out and you can we've got two and a half minutes left door. on the show Nikki I don't want to rush you wow no but I've just to let everyone plenty uh, of time everyone know, but you're back at eight o'clock with our Catherine I am back yes. at eight o'clock with some more Catherine country. is going to love this collection I know it she's got her own cottage hasn't she yeah Yes, she is going to love this. And then just add a little square piece of foam tape on the top one there. But as I say, this is what we call decoupage. But if you want to oh, do it a different way, rather than using those windows, what you could, could do is use the image that you've got, colour it out, so it'd all be coloured in. It would be cut out, obviously, there. And then that would sit over. Oh, wow. But you'd obviously do that before you put your plant pots yes, on. Yes, got you. That but looks you see amazing. And then if you want to decoupage to, it up even more. How about a little bit of 
uh, cotton wool or something to put some smoke coming out the chimney. Oh, how? Oh, do you know I haven't? Do, I remember doing that at school. Yeah, that would be good. That would be good. Or maybe some of your texture paste or something like that to create that effect. What a lovely card. Absolutely beautiful. It really is. All those lovely colours in there. I just want to go and knock on that door and go inside. Uh, remember, everything is on extended delivery. 13th of January, that's when it's going to be sent out to you. Uh, Freedom members, you lucky people, you're getting that extra discount. If you're thinking, hang on a minute. How come they're getting that extra discount? Well, they're a Freedom member, £5.97 a month. That's all it is. You don't pay any P&P, so why don't you become a Freedom member and take advantage of that saving? Your full, complete collection launching here tonight. Over a quarter of the stock has gone already. 42 87 that's your first payment, and then two more payments after that, so we're spreading the cost interest-free. Nikki, an absolute pleasure. Thank you. It's been absolutely amazing. I will see you amazing. tomorrow. Uh, but you're oh, back I'm at 8 o'clock tonight. I am back at 8 yes. o'clock. I'm not sure oh, whether I'm with you I tomorrow. I hope so. Oh, I hope so too. Unless you've signed the paper to say you don't want to work with me again. Most never. of the guests have done Never yeah. going to happen. Apparently a lot of people have, I'm being told <laughs> by my producer. But, oh well, never mind. Uh, <laughs> it's been great to have your company. Great to have your company as well. Uh, we've got another show coming up next with our Emma. And that's with me. So go and get yourself a cup of tea, but make sure you check out your baskets. We'll see you